Bilhama hosted MSNBC host Joe Scarbage and Mark Cuban on real time with Bill Maher and things got heated quickly as Bill Maher brought up Elon Musk and the good thing he is doing for American despite supporting Donald Trump. Ma asked Mark Cuban to respond to Musk calling him and Raska Mado, the same person, and finally they eventually get into which side is spreading misinformation. This sent Joe Scarborough into a fix wherein he actually insulted Bill Maher on his show and things really got heated. Guys, I can't wait for us to watch this. This is another intriguing and alarming news and let's just get right into this video the good, the bad, everything in between. And just, it's sort of a microcosm of America, is Elon Musk, because this week, um, he had an amazing week. He caught, this is from Politico, he uh, pulled off an engineering marvel where he launched the largest, most powerful rocket in the world, and on the first try, caught the 23-story tall booster Insane. that brings it up in midair with using chopstick-like mechanical arms. We made a little video called Elon Musk's Week uh, that encapsulate this. Would you show it? It'll just take a few seconds. Look at that. That's insane. That's amazing. That. That is Isn't insane. that amazing? And then this. That's insane, and then, too. And then, and then, <laughs> that's, just and that's the same guy. This is such a game changer with exploring mm -hmm. the stars with the rocket. But he also, I mean, the tweets, I mean, uh, FEMA used its budget ferrying illegals into the country instead of saving American lives. Treason. He also said, tweeted, Mark Cuban and Rachel Maddow are the same person. Don't believe... <laughs> The same person who had been saying that, oh, Elon Musk, um, I mean, Trump has a very good record, is topping in the game, there are a lot of good, you know, and now you are coming to say that Elon Musk and Trump has the monopoly of mixed information. This is really not nice. This is really absurd. I need you guys comments in the comment section below because a lot of things is happening. Americans, the balls, everything lies in your hand launches okay again one of the most impressive companies an american company he wants a little more give it to him no the commission some bureaucrat said nope and this is the reason why commissioner carol hart saying we're dealing with a company the head of which has aggressively injected himself into the presidential race and made it clear what his point of view is Yes, because he lives in America, yeah. and he can do that. Yeah. 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 It has nothing yeah. to do with this, and, you know, the right thinks that the left uh, is in a very different place with free speech than they have been before, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. This is arrogant. You don't punish somebody. It would be like if we stopped Henry Ford from making the cars right. because we didn't like what Yeah, but he can you take one anecdotal example? One idiot, right? Truly an idiot to Th stop. This is not an idiot. This is someone with, with power. We want a fair and, and equitable uh, 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 approach to the rule of law. The great thing about America is an idiot makes a decision like that based on politics instead of on, based on what their job is. You can take it to the courts. The yeah, courts exactly. will overturn it, and I guarantee you they're they going to they're going to have that decision overturned, uh, and they're going to have to have find an, a, another reason, a better reason, a more relevant re reason to 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 deny. He'll learn a harder lesson. lesson. He'll just move more of his production right. and more of his launches somewhere else, to Florida or Florida, to Texas, yeah, wherever. Exactly. To stifle freedoms, including speech, mm -hmm. for the sake of safety or misinformation sometimes which is coming from everybody it's mm -hmm. you know no one has a monopoly on it or just well, power you're saying nobody it's just has power a monopoly on it come on uh, yeah, that's some moral relativism right there i said nobody has a monopoly you said nobody has a monopoly on it but that's like saying nobody has a monopoly on being a billionaire he's a, he's got he's got that monopoly up here i mean he's got more money than us a lot more money than us so <laughs> And, 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 and I don't get the. I don't you, know, you don't get it. I don't know what point you're making. <laughs> well, you're saying I mean, it's both sides. It, well, it there is. is no doubt. There's there, no there, misinformation. There, there's no. some some disinformation from the left, but comparing so, it to what Donald Trump no, spews out agree. every day, I every agree. week, comparing it to what Elon yeah. Musk is spewing out, unfortunately, yeah. on X, there's no. There's. there's there, you, you sound like Brett Stevens I right don't. now, with all due respect. So, uh, it's a joke. That's I, a real time. And you sound Mario like him, insult. who looks like Rachel Maddow. Or is oh, Rachel Maddow? <laughs> <laughs> hmm.
guys this is the reason why american don't believe msnbc because they have a way of spreading a lot of false information out there msnbc i think this is the height of it all i mean the host of msnbc which is joe why would you come up with those questions saying that um trump and elon musk has the monopoly of misinformation this is really absurd i mean this is the same joe that opened his mouth to say that trump is topping up in the game and why will he come up to start saying trump and elio musk has the monopoly of mixed information guys there are a lot of things happening and i really want us to be very very sensible we need to be very very sensitive because the election is around the corner and then we need to be very sure that we'll put the right person in that seat i mean msnbc has a way of bringing drop and elion musk bringing them down you are the same person the future of america lies in your hand you want to vote for the right candidates you're not yet to vote for any how person you're voting for accountability you're voting for credibility you're voting for someone who would do the job not right who would go into that presidential seat and fix america that is what you want to vote for and when you're voting Look at, we're not looking at just the present now. We're looking at the future, the generation to come. So you should be able, you should, you should, we all should be very sensitive. There are a lot of misinformation happening. Now, Joe is coming here saying another thing, twisting another thing, saying that Elon Musk and Trump have the monopoly of misinformation. Trust me, who does that? We all know that Trump has a lot of good record he has done for America. I mean, these are actions that speaks and they are records that were down there. I mean, we can actually bring out the record and the ads. I once played it here on my channel. The record and the ads of Trump, the good deed he has done for America. This is the right time for us to be very wise. This is the right time for us to be very sensitive. You're voting for who would do the job. You're voting for peace. You're voting for accountability. You're voting for credibility. You're voting for someone who is fit to fix the country. And I see no reason why we all should be carried away with mixed information. I see no reason why Joe would come out and say that Trump has the monopoly of mixed information. Oh no, who does that? Guys, I need your comment down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this current video? What do you guys think about this? Kindly write it down in the comment section below. I want us to be very engaging. Let's comment. Air your view. We are all here with different perceptions and opinion. Kindly drop it down in the comment section below. I don't know it all. I'm talking based on my own personality and perspective, right? I need your comments in the comment section below. And um, don't go too far. Trust me, I'll be right back. I'll be down in the comment section below. Reply and responding to you all and please let's be very fair and cautious with our comment because of the youtube community guidelines i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye